The Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System IRNSS, with an operational name of NAVIC sailor", or navigator. In Sanskrit, Hindi and many other Indian languages and also standing for navigation with Indian constellation, is an autonomous regional satellite navigation system that provides accurate real-time positioning and timing services. It covers India and a region extending 1,500 kilometers (930 miles) around it, with plans for further extension. An extended service area lies between the primary service area and a rectangle area enclosed by the 30th parallel south to the 50th parallel north and the 30th meridian east to the 130th meridian east, 1,500 to 6,000 kilometers beyond borders. The system at present consists of a constellation of seven satellites, with two additional satellites on ground as standby. The constellation is in orbit as of 2018, and the system was expected to be operational from early 2018 after a system check. NAVIC will provide two levels of service: the standard positioning service, which will be open for civilian use, and a restricted service, an encrypted one for authorized users, including military. Due to the failures of one of the satellites and its replacement, no new date for operational status has been set. There are plans to expand NAVIC system by increasing constellation size from 7 to 11. Topic. Background The system was developed partly because access to foreign government-controlled global navigation satellite systems is not guaranteed in hostile situations, as happened to the Indian military in 1999 when it was dependent on the American Global Positioning System GPS during the Kargil War. The Indian government approved the project in May 2014. Topic: <inaudible> Development. As part of the project, the Indian Space Research Organisation (ISRO) opened a new satellite navigation centre within the campus of ISRO Deep Space Network (DSN) at Bailalu in Karnataka on the 28th of May 2013. A network of 21 ranging stations located across the country will provide data for the orbital determination of the satellites and monitoring of the navigation signal. A goal of complete Indian control has been stated, with the space segment, ground segment and user receivers all being built in India. Its location in low latitudes facilitates a coverage with low inclination satellites. Three satellites will be in geostationary orbit over the Indian Ocean. Missile targeting could be an important military application for the constellation. The total cost of the project was expected to be 1420 crore rupees, 205 million dollars, with the cost of the ground segment being 300 crore rupees, 43 million dollars. Each satellite's costing 150 crore rupees, 22 million dollars, and a PSLV XL version rocket costs around 130 crore rupees, 19 million dollars. The Plan 7 rockets would have involved an outlay of around 910 crore rupees, 132 million dollars. The necessity for two replacement satellites and PSLV XL launches has altered the original budget with the Controller and Auditor General of India reporting costs to March 2017 at 2246 crore rupees, 325 million dollars. The NAVIC signal was released for evaluation in September 2014. Topic: Time frame In April 2010, it was reported that India plans to start launching satellites by the end of 2011, at a rate of one satellite every six months. This would have made NAVIC functional by 2015. But the program was delayed, and India also launched three new satellites to supplement this. Seven satellites with the prefix, IRNSS-1, will constitute the space segment of the IRNSS. IRNSS-1A, the first of the seven satellites, was launched on 1 July 2013. IRNSS-1B was launched on 4 April 2014 on board PSLV C-24 rocket. The satellite has been placed in geosynchronous orbit. IRNSS-1C was launched on 16 October 2014, IRNSS-1D on 28 March 2015, IRNSS-1E on 20 January 2016, IRNSS-1F on 10 March 2016 and IRNSS-1G was launched on 28 April 2016. The eighth satellite, IRNSS-1H, which was meant to replace IRNSS-1A, failed to deploy on 31 August 2017 as the heat shields failed to separate from fourth stage of the rocket. Topic. System description The IRNSS system comprises a space segment and a support ground segment. Topic. Space segment The constellation consists of seven satellites. 
Three of the seven satellites are located in geostationary orbit (GEO) at 32.5 degrees east, 83 degrees east, and 131.5 degrees east longitude, approximately 36,000 kilometers (22,000 miles) above Earth's surface. Remaining four satellites are in inclined geosynchronous orbit (GSO). Two of them cross equator at 55 degrees east and two at 111.75 degrees east. The four GSO satellites will appear to be moving in the form of an 8. Topic. Ground segment Ground segment is responsible for the maintenance and operation of the IRNSS constellation. The ground segment comprises IRNSS Spacecraft Control Facility IRSCF, ISRO Navigation Center Inc. IRNSS Range and Integrity Monitoring Stations IRIMS, IRNSS Network Timing Center IRNWT, IRNSS CDMA Ranging Stations IRCDR, Laser Ranging Stations IRNSS Data Communication Network IRDCN, The Inc. established at Bialalu performs remote operations and data collection with all the ground stations. 14 IRIMS are currently operational and are supporting IRNSS operations. CDMA Ranging is being carried out by the four IRCDR stations on regular basis for all the IRNSS satellites. The IRNWT has been established and is providing IRNSS system time with an accuracy of 2 nanoseconds 2 times 10 9 s 2 sigma w r t u t c Laser ranging is being carried out with the support of ILRS stations around the world. Navigation software is operational at Inc. since 1 August 2013. All the navigation parameters viz. satellite ephemeris, clock corrections, integrity parameters and secondary parameters viz. IONO delay corrections, time offsets W, R, TUTC and other GNSS, Almanac, text message and Earth orientation parameters are generated and uplinked to the spacecrafts automatically. The IRDCN has established terrestrial and VSAT links between the ground stations. 77.2 m FCA and 211 m FMA of IRSCF are currently operational for LEOP and on-orbit phases of IRNSS satellites. Topic. Signal NAVIC signals will consist of a standard positioning service and a precision service. Both will be carried on L5 1176.45 MHz and S-band 2492.028 MHz. The SPS signal will be modulated by a 1 MHz BPSK signal. The precision service will use BOC 52. The navigation signals themselves would be transmitted in the S-band frequency 2 to 4 GHz and broadcast through a phased array antenna to maintain required coverage and signal strength. The satellites would weigh approximately 1,330 kg and their solar panels generate 1,400 watts. A messaging interface is embedded in the NAVIC system. This feature allows the command center to send warnings to a specific geographic area. For example, fishermen using the system can be warned about a cyclone. Topic. Accuracy The system is intended to provide an absolute position accuracy of better than 10 meters throughout Indian landmass and better than 20 meters in the Indian Ocean as well as a region extending approximately 1,500 kilometers 930 miles around India. The Space Applications Center in 2017 said NAVIC will provide standard positioning service to all users with a position accuracy up to 5 meters. The GPS, for comparison, had a position accuracy of 20 to 30 meters. Unlike GPS which is dependent only on L-band, NAVIC has dual frequency S and L bands. When low frequency signal travels through atmosphere, its velocity changes due to atmospheric disturbances. U.S. banks on atmospheric model to assess frequency error and it has to update this model from time to time to assess the exact error. In India's case, the actual delay is assessed by measuring the difference in delay of dual frequency S and L bands. Therefore, NAVIC is not dependent on any model to find the frequency error and is more accurate than GPS. Topic. List of satellites The constellation consists of seven active satellites. Three of the seven satellites in constellation are located in geostationary orbit and four in inclined geosynchronous orbit All satellites launched or proposed for the system are as follows. Topic. Clock failure 
In 2017, it was announced that all three rubidium atomic clocks on board IRNSS 1A had failed, mirroring similar failures in the European Union's Galileo constellation. The first failure occurred in July 2016, following which two other clocks also failed. This rendered the satellite somewhat redundant and required replacement. Although the satellite still performs other functions, the data is coarse, and thus cannot be used for accurate measurements. ISRO's attempt to replace it with IRNSS 1H was unsuccessful when PSLV C 39 mission failed on 31 August 2017. In July 2017, it was reported that two more clocks in the navigational system had started showing signs of abnormality, thereby taking the total number of failed clocks to five. As a precaution to extend the operational life of navigation satellite, ISRO is running only one rubidium atomic clock instead of two in the remaining six satellites. Each satellite has three clocks, therefore a total of 27 clocks for all satellites in the system including standby satellites. The clocks of both IRNSS and Galileo were supplied by SpectraTime. ISRO replaced the atomic clocks in two standby IRNSS satellites. A replacement satellite, IRNSS-1I, was successfully placed into orbit on 12 April 2018. Topic future developments India's Department of Space in their 12th five-year plan FYP 2012-17 stated increasing the number of satellites in the constellation from 7 to 11 for extending coverage. These additional four satellites will be made during 12th FYP and will be launched in the beginning of 13th FYP. Also, development of space qualified atomic clocks was initiated, along with study and development initiative for all optical atomic clock ultra-stable for IRNSS and deep space communication. Topic. Global Indian Navigational System GINs. Study and analysis for Global Indian Navigational System GINs was initiated as part of the technology and policy initiatives in the 12th FYP The system is supposed to have a constellation of 24 satellites, positioned 24,000 km 14, miles above Earth. As of 2013, the statutory filing for frequency spectrum of JIN satellite orbits in international space, has been completed. <laughs> See also